Wow, do I look and feel like a big old massive steaming pile of cow manure that's been lit on fire? The answer is yes. I have been through it, folks. Hence why I look so beautiful. You guys really wanted to see the BTS of my life, right? Like, the real deal? This is what happens in the interim of all of my videos. I'm still ridiculous. I'm still the same old me, but I'm just going through real world stuff and not just through the menu at Cheesecake Factory. I am headed currently to the shopping holy land of holy lands, Walmart. Hold on, I have to put it in my GPS because I don't go to Walmart often and it's very, very far away. Mom, May, me, Mo. Ma? May, me, mo, moo. Ooh, this is a voice you lesson know? that you're listening to. We're gonna turn that off. The last time I went to Walmart, I ended up at a supermarket, which really, if you wanna mm, get someone really upset, tell them you're going to Walmart and then take them to a Walmart supermarket. I'm going to Walmart mostly because I want to. <laughs> Second of all, I am working with the brand. I'm gonna be kind of like almost DIYing some merch. I say merch, like you can't buy it. I'm making it for myself. <laughs> Should I get some coffee? I feel like I need that for myself. Last night was a doozy for me, everyone. I shot at Clever all day yesterday, which usually are really hard days for me because I've been so isolated by myself and stepping into a full day of shoots with other people, it's like my brain goes to like the Olympics. And then I'm so exhausted because I've had so much interpersonal relations that I don't, at the end of the day, I'm like, I, I can't function anymore. So I came home last night with a massive, massive migraine. I thought my eyeballs were gonna pop out of my head. Then I was nauseous. So I was like, oh, I can't eat anything. I just need to go to bed. So I didn't really eat a full dinner. And then I took birth control because I'm on birth control right now to stabilize my lining for my surgery, which is happening next week. And I didn't realize I should have because I used to sell birth control. Fun fact, I was a pharmaceutical sales rep. And then I woke up at 3 a.m. nauseous, diarrhea, TMI, I don't care. We all do it. Poop is powerful. I'm not even kidding. There's a documentary on a link here that talks about soil and you should watch it. So then I just passed out at some point and then woke up looking like this this butte that you see here. Currently, I'm really in an interesting state of mind. I'm a little bit cuckoo. I'm so sleep deprived. I'm exhausted. I have no filter. <laughs> By the way, we got these adorable banana clips from a clever shoot yesterday where we try all the stuff that TikTok is like perping out that you should buy this, but should you really? Anyway, this is from that shoe. It was advertised to me on my For You page by some cutie patootie in probably Michigan, and I wanted to see if it was worth it, and it is. I'll link it in the description. Thank you. All right, I have the goods, everyone. It is a grande sweet cream cold brew light ice. And now we're on our way to Walmart. Have you ever heard anything more exciting? I certainly haven't, except for maybe like sleep and not pooping all night. I'm obsessed with these shorts. They're kind of like paper bag shorts. I got this tie-dye one. Thinking about getting the pink one though. It's really cute. Okay, I know these look kind of like weird, but they are so soft. These are like boot cut yoga pants. They don't have them in my size, but I'm telling you this fabric is so buttery and so perfect. It's only $7.88. This place is dangerous. But what I'm really excited about are their swimsuits, you guys. Look at how cute. Look at this one. This one is only $10 for the top and $10 for these bottoms. Okay, here's a little Walmart haul. I have to talk about these shorts. How adorable are they? I really can't say enough positive things about them. They look actually really nice. I'm gonna do an entire Instagram video showing you all the swimsuits that I got. This one is so fun. It's high-waisted, comes with scrunchies that match. It's so cute. Both pieces were 15 each, so 30 is a set. I have so many bathing suits here from Target that don't fit nearly as good as this pile from Walmart. Like, how fun is this? I also got a couple of sweatshirts that I'm gonna use for my um, sponsored video with Cricut. I'm thinking about putting something like always hungry or double double or something on this. So let me know in the comments what you think I should personalize this with, but I love how fun and summery and cute this one is also. By the way, I will link everything in the description that I got if it's available for you guys to shop. Oh, also they had these hats. 
This is just a white ball cap for $1. It was on sale. It's the, this is time and true. Look how cute and like mom on the tennis court vibe this is. I just look like I am active. I would like to show you what it looks like to create content for a living out of your house. It is embarrassing, but I think it's important for you to know because you shouldn't believe everything you see on the internet, you guys. I've been shooting content all day. This is for a video. That's for a video. That's for a video. All of this is for multiple videos. This is another project I'm working on. This is just stuff I had to move around because I had to put other stuff other places. It is like madness. I'm actually afraid for Matt to come down. He hasn't come down at all today, not even to eat lunch. I'm actually worried because I think he's gonna get Tomorrow is my birthday day. On my birthday day, I have decided that I only want to do zero things. I don't want to get in my car, drive, go anywhere. I don't want to put on sunscreen. I don't want to cook. I don't want to leave my pajamas. Actually, I want pajamas to put on for my birthday. And I want to watch serial killer documentaries all day long from the comfort of my couch in my pajamas. So today was just my day of wrapping all of this stuff up so that I can do zero things. But now I have a crappy, messy house that I have to clean up before tomorrow so that I can do zero things. Otherwise, I might end up cleaning. Hopefully I don't. Since I just finished trying on probably 30 bikinis, I have worked up a sweat. Now I'm gonna have a starburst, a pink starburst. It's my birthday day. I'm not supposed to be working and this is technically working, but Matt did buy me a 45 pound <laughs> birthday cake. That when he gave it to me, I nearly broke my arms trying to carry it. It is so big. It's from one of my favorite places, Magnolia Bakery. And Matt didn't understand sizes, so when they were telling him on the phone, he was like, oh yeah, 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 the big one sounds about right. It's huge, you can't tell on camera. Let me know in the comments, is it okay if I freeze it and eat it over the course of the next year? Cause this is bigger than like, I think our even our wedding cake. He says, happy birthday, Erin, my sweet love. That was a long message. I only allowed for six words, I maxed it out. <laughs> <laughs> Mindy thinks he's gonna get some. You're not. No. Said, I'll do tricks. I'll try. Oh, the aromas are thick and rich with delicious scents. <laughs> Are you living our wedding right now? It's pretty good. It has like a fresh, zesty essence to it. Hey, right off the blade, honey. He thought something bad had happened to you. Here are the trash cans. Love you. Love you, baby. It is the day after my birthday. My birth. Wow, I look like I should join the circus. Yesterday was actually a super special day for me because one of my very best friends in the world, like my soul sister, got married on my birthday and she waited for so long to find her person and she finally found him and they got married and I couldn't be there because I have a surgery happening this week and I had just some fertility stuff and I was just too afraid with COVID stuff. It was so sad that I couldn't make it but she was so beautiful and then I was asked to be someone's godmother. A little baby that hasn't come earthside yet and I'm just overwhelmed and emotional so I cried many times yesterday I ate so much cake and I just feel like it was one of the best birthdays I've had in a really long time so now I just took a COVID test I'm eating a lemon loaf I'm dropping off a COVID test this morning because we're clever we have to do multiple tests so I'm headed to drop this off right now then I have to come back get ready for another shoot that's happening at my house today I have a team coming in to film kind of like an interview style with me for a California campaign then I have a pre-op appointment with my fertility doctor because for my surgery on Friday. So that's my, that's my day in a nutshell.
Matt and I just got back from my pre-op appointment with my fertility doctor. There's a lot of information. They almost didn't let Matt in, but I had to kind of like be a little bit rude about it because they told me he could come in and yeah, then they, they changed us. their mind, which so they did eventually let him in. Thank God, because he took three pages of notes. Well, I just sat there and I was like, this woman, I don't think she's gonna breathe anytime soon. She's like so much information. There's a lot of info. Yeah, she had done that a few times. Okay, so now I have to take my second COVID test of the day and I have to cough and swab all of my, my good spots in here. Who does she remind me of? Emery. Emery. I know, isn't that crazy? Yeah. I felt the same thing. Like yeah. her energy and like, mm -hmm. even just like her, just everything about her reminded me. A lot me. of Emery in there. Yeah, my, one of my best friends, she, this nurse reminded me of her anyway. It's, it's, she just got married. Emery. And she just got married yesterday. yesterday. Now I get to cough and swab. Matt just gets to sit here and be in my essences. Amongst the coughing. <coughs> Crack a window. <laughs> How many times do I do that? That's enough. I think we're all good here. <laughs> get those tonsils. I got lipstick on here somehow. I'm not even wearing lipstick. What is this sorcery? Will you hold my stick? I'm gonna go drop off my my special secret juice. I wanted to chat with you guys because this week is gonna be a really intense week. I'm going into surgery this week for two reasons. The first reason is that when I had a miscarriage last year, about this time last year, I took a medication that uh, caused the lining of my uterus to like shed itself. I had a really difficult time on that medication. I had to take it basically like three different times. Unfortunately, it didn't work perfectly, which means I likely have a bunch of tissue that's left inside of my uterus that they call calcified tissue. My lining of my uterus is kind of coated and it's impossible for me to get pregnant based on the current weather conditions. What they're going to do is put me under, go in with like basically a little motorized razor and shave the entire inside of my uterus, essentially like giving it an exfoliation. That's how I'm thinking about it so I don't get too freaked out. So I'm going in for what they're calling a hysteroscopy and then the removal of the tissue. Also while they're in there, they're gonna be doing something called a femview, which is very similar to what a lot of you probably know as an HSG, which is where they basically blow air through your fallopian tubes just to make sure there's nothing blocking the tube freeways. Usually you can do that procedure when someone is awake, but I've heard such horror stories and I've been so terrified hearing women say how painful it was that I was like, you know, if you're gonna put me under, can you just do both at the same time? So my doctor is awesome and she's gonna be able to do both simultaneously. It should only take about 20, 25 five minutes in total. I will have to go under for the procedure. I will not have to be intubated, which means putting a breathing tube down my throat. I will not have to have a catheter. So it's gonna be a really light surgery, I'm hoping. It's still surgery and it's still scary and it's costing me, you guys, $6,500 dollars not covered under insurance by the way i could go i could do a whole video about how upset i am about it it's a very expensive thing for me but again this is like a necessary thing in order for me to actually be able to get pregnant so it's like i have to do it and i have to do it sooner than later the great news is we have found a fertility doctor that we really like which is the hardest part and i would rather pay someone to make it right then pay someone $500 and be strung along for another year or two while my body is wasting away. <laughs> Currently, I am waiting for the director of a shoot to show up at my house. I actually think that might be him. Yeah, that's definitely him. Okay, let me go let this guy in, hold on. Or soon. Yeah, it really felt like like whole I know, I think it's gonna be maybe this fall, if not yeah, 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 next spring, too. but I feel like next spring will be here like that. Okay, good. Well, let me know if you need any like pickup VOs or anything like that. All right, so good to see you guys. See you soon. My shoot is over. We got some good stuff. And now it's time to eat some dinner. Matt cooked us up some turkey burgers for the week. I've done a video on my main channel where I did like what I eat in a day. His turkey burger recipe is over there. I will link it somewhere here in the description if you're interested. Um, and we did it with Brussels sprouts this week. So turkey burgers, Brussels 
sprouts. That's what Chef Robinson cooked up. Your inside of your ear, does the inside of your ear ever itch? You have to do that to like scratch it. My mom used to do it. We used to make fun of her as kids, but now I do it. Oh. I meant, forgot to mention, I also am gonna be tanning tonight because I'm going to Clever in a bikini tomorrow, so I wanna look like a little bit more sun-kissed than I currently am. And I just ordered this for the first time. It's called Tan Again. There's a girl on Instagram, an influencer that I follow. It's her company. You have to actually keep it in the fridge because the ingredients are pretty good. So I'm excited to tan myself tonight and try this out. I'll let you guys know, and I'll link it below if you wanna buy it, but um, I'll link her as well. Her name's Jennifer. I love following her. She seems like a sweet gal. Am I breaking out? Refrigerator light is not the one. So this is the barbecue sauce I'm using. This is from a restaurant in Texas. It's called Solik. It's one of Matt's favorite barbecue spots. And so we order this in bulk. Actually, you can get this at Whole Foods. I'll link it below. He loves this barbecue sauce. We have it on hand constantly. And that's what I'm using tonight with this delicious pile of healthy goodness. pre-surgery day, which means I'm trying to prep for tomorrow just to make sure that everything is handled so that when I come home, out of my mind tomorrow, that if I need anything, it's already here. I went to the grocery store and picked up a few things that my doctor's office told me that I could and should have on hand, one of which is apple juice. I technically can't have any food or liquids eight hours before my surgery. I picked up some apple juice. I also picked up a surgery, post-surgery necessity, some chocolate chip cookies. Not recommended by my doctor, but recommended by me personally. I also picked up a giant watermelon. Watermelon is a vasodilator, which means it opens up your blood vessels veins. I also have tiny veins, so it's really hard for them to find my veins for an IV, so I need to help a sister out for tomorrow. Got some pop chips, some barbecue pop chips. This one I actually have no justification for. I was thinking, oh, you know, like pop chips will be light, airy, salty, in case I just want a little bite of something. That's where my logic stopped. And I also had to swing by CVS to pick up some medications. Um, this actually isn't a medication. It's a flushable cleansing cloth. Gynecologist tested, fragrance free pH balanced just in case I need it. I don't think I will need this. I did pick up some ASIO urinary pain relief pills just because I will be cutting off liquids for, I guess it probably is gonna end up being like 10 hours. I'm really super prone to UTIs. If I don't stay hydrated, they pop up all the time. So I'm gonna take some of this when I get home tomorrow just to make sure nothing crazy happens. Hopefully this is enough. If not, Matt is taking the day off tomorrow so he can go run and get something if I absolutely need it. But I'm going under, you know, anesthesia really messes with me. I think I'm very, very sensitive to medications and so a little bit nervous about tomorrow because of that, even though I'm only gonna be under for an hour. Still, I was in a really dark place when I came out last time and it's just not something that I would wish on anyone. It's way worse than the fear of the surgery itself. Like I'm not really afraid of the surgery. I'm just afraid of coming out of the anesthesia. <sighs> I hope it works out. I hope it works out.